Hello, I'm Neil Forbes. In these videos that I'm about to uh, present to you, we're going to be seeing what we can do with PowerDirector 14 Ultra made by Cyberlink. I'm going to show you how to create uh, tricks with reversing or how to appear and disappear like a ghost or even show you how to maybe uh, create an interesting closing credits sequence among a few other things that I might uh, dream up as I go. So, this is Neil Forbes video editing tricks and tips presentation. Okay, let the fun begin. As this demo opens, we're just finishing off getting our uh, clip ready to uh, show you the uh, presentation we're about to show. Okay, there's the clip in its timeline already. And just pull it over to the end, or actually we'll just pull this down. We're going to use this video track. And normally used as a PIP track, so these extra video tracks can also be used as default timelines. Now, we click on the T to open the title room and select the default My Title. And then put it down onto that second video track. Now we'll set it for the desired duration, in this case 25 seconds. As you can see at the end I'll put a transition and a black colour panel. We'll see the effect of that later. Okay, now we come up here and what we want to do is get hold of uh, a little PNG that I've created. A handy item to have tucked away, of course, is a raw PNG transparency. Nothing in it, just a transparency on its own. And you'll see how it's used. So we're just going through my PNG files, and there it is. Click on that, and open it. These are very useful, and you'll see how as we go along. Okay, what we're going to do now is drop that raw transparency in, Drag your raw transparency onto the timeline and select the duration. In this case, it's 10 seconds. Then you draw it across to the end of the video. A little black line will actually appear, which will help you line up the end of the video with your transparency. And there it is in place. Now we pull the title up and we just set it so that it abuts the end or I should say the beginning of that uh, transition that transparency I should say okay now we're going to edit this title we want to set our font in this case, Arial Black.
and we'll set the collar. This can be altered again later as we need it. Set it for center justification and bold it if we need to, not in this case because aerial black is bold enough. Add a border and change it to black so that it stands out. Okay, what we might do here is just um, type in a portion of the caption that we want. I just simply typed in camera, and you see the call to oh, the color can be altered later. I'm getting a slip of the tongue here as I narrate. Now, the caption needs to be positioned. It's usually centered in the uh, screen, about middle of the screen. That's where most people have it anyway. So I've written uh, the rest of my caption. Muggins, that's me. I'm using a bit of uh, tongue-in-cheek. Now you see the gap between camera and muggins, that can be altered here. The spacing between the letters, it doesn't close it completely, but it closes it enough for our purposes. Now I'm going to change the colour of the word camera to a bluish colour. This effectively makes this a template. Okay, there it is. The caption is set up as we want it. We can copy it to clipboard, control C, and we use a scrubber. Just take the scrubber back a little way. Open the track. Don't worry about the gray. Okay. And we paste it in with control V, control plus V. Just shift it up to the uh, beginning of the previous one. We do this as many times as we need. In this case, it was four times. It just dragged up to a butt, the previous one. We do one more. And again, we drag that up to about the other three. Now, what we do here is we copy our transparency and we'll paste this at the beginning of this sequence. Thus. Okay, that's ready to go. Okay. With that in place, these four are effectively templates. Now we're not going to change the first one, we're going to change the remaining three. Like uh, The first one is actually the one at the beginning of our sequence. The second, third and fourth are the ones we want to alter. So there's camera. Now we want to change that to editing slash narration assuming I did some narration slash production and just to be extra cheeky I changed muggins to this little black duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> now I'm not quacking up. Ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. Save that. 
Move along to our next one. And we alter it. Just add the word use so we can credit the camera type. Only again I'm going to be cheeky. Some old piece of junk I found somewhere. Ah. <laughs> Actually the video camera I use is a very high quality uh, Canon product. This is just being done to have a bit of fun. Now it's not quite ready. I'm just going to drop the word somewhere down to the next line. And there it is. Okay. Last one. And we're talking about location. Again, I'm going to be cheeky. Oh, I'm such a cheeky boy. <laughs> Just got to make a bit of a spelling uh, check there and correction. Put a T in there. And again, cheeky little me. Some old train yard out in the bush <laughs> it's actually the Richmond Vale Railway Museum okay they're all in place Okay, now we come to the transition. And this is where we really show the versatility of PowerDirector 4 Lean Ultra. Because we're able to use video tracks as default title tracks, we can actually use the transitions as well as the usual effects that are available in the title designer. So we've picked the one we want, which is the spin effect. We just drop these in. You probably notice that the uh, image gets shortened. I'll explain that in a moment. Okay. We're not quite finished here. What we have to do now is you can see the two. We can see half of it. Okay. This is what's called cross. The cross behavior. The other one, of course, is the uh, overlap. Okay. Setting this for cross, we regain that lost length of time. Now let's have a look at the final result. Of course, your own name would be there in place of Muggins. As would your own name be there in place of Little Black Duck or anyone else who might have uh, taken part in the production and narration. Camera used, well, you'd simply credit the... Uh, camera 
that you have used for your video. That was just a bit of me being cheeky, that's all. I should uh, note that some transitions might affect the background image, like black it out. It's always good to sample the effect, the transition effect, before you use it. The location, of course, is wherever you uh, shot your video. And as you can see there, the transition is a box out. Okay, there we have it. Thanks for watching.